To keep yourself updated, subscribe to Indigo Learn and click the bell icon. Great. Now we spoke about these three points, what you have to bear in mind. There is just one more principle that I want to talk to you about, after which we would be in a good position to solve the problems. Right. Friends, I want you to pay utmost attention to this particular point. I told you about the principle or thought process which goes into buyback. So why we actually have to be very careful, why the people who are standing in front of the uh, equity shareholders in the line will be upset when suddenly equity shareholders get their money etc. I spoke to you about. Now please pay attention, if the company wants to do buyback, the company can actually do that buyback only out of two sources. The company can do buyback only out of two sources. The first source is out of proceeds of fresh issue, meaning the company is issuing, say, fresh preference share capital. Now they are issuing preference share capital. With that, they are actually buying back equity shares. Possible? Yes, possible. If the company is issuing fresh preference shares, or maybe another class of equity shares in terms of rights maybe they have different rights in law you learn about equity shares with differential rights we have some mention about that even in our accounting but in detail you learn that as a part of law so some shareholders may have more rights regarding dividend or voting and some shareholders may have lesser rights regarding equity shareholders only i'm talking about may have lesser rights regarding dividend and voting so if the company wants to issue fresh shares of another category and buy back the existing equity shares, we understood. It's basically like the number of tickets which are there in the counter to distribute to all the people standing in the line are same. There are There is like one extra chair which is brought, some extra amount which is brought, extra resources which are brought into the company and with these extra resources, we want to buy back those existing equity shares. Does it make sense? Yes, because the ones who are standing in the line, they wouldn't be affected because the amount which is being used for buyback is not the existing amount in the company, it is proceeds from fresh issue. So basically with extra money, you are buying back the equity shares. So just imagine something like this. Imagine this is the line and I am the creditor. Okay. So I'm the credit. I'm just talking about all liabilities. All liability holders will stand like this on a confidence that, oh, behind me, I have preference shareholders. I have equity shareholders like this. Imagine there is a wall behind me, right? So they will stand with the support of this wall and say, oh, they are all behind me. So I will not fall. I will not fall because they are behind me. Now, this is the confidence with which liability holders might be comfortable in the company. Now, if I just imagine I am like this, suddenly the wall goes off. What will happen? I would fall, right? The same way, if the support what the debenture holders or all the liability holders have is suddenly that support is gone then these people would say we will fall ha now to ensure that they don't fall what are we doing okay imagine somebody is sleeping like this we said okay before removing something bring for equal strength something in that place so that this person will not fall are you clear about that so before removing the support what is there, make sure that there is one more support which comes in and only after that support comes in, you are removing this support. I am repeating. So here there is a wall. This wall is existing equity, preference shares, equity shares. Before removing anything, what should you do? Bring one extra wall behind me and say, ha, ah, similar strength wall we are adding. So there is no risk to your situation is what you are basically trying to tell the liability holders. Are you clear about that? That concept is called as introducing fresh capital to buy back the existing shares. That is one source through which you can do buy back. Now come to the other source. The second source or the only other way generally we do buy back is I can, I will put it as out of existing resources. I will simply say out of existing resources, meaning you are not buying back from the proceeds of fresh issue of shares. I'm repeating, first case what we spoke about is buying back from the proceeds of fresh issue of shares. Think about it. If I am the liability holder, I am happily sleeping like this 
on the confidence that behind me I have preference shareholders, I have equity shareholders and I am peacefully resting like this and suddenly if something is gone I have a problem but if that is intact then I don't care whether it is this uh, shareholder or some other shareholder basically shareholders are backing me I'm comfortable with that but imagine if that's not the case I'm using the existing resources for buyback what will happen suddenly the liability holder will say oh what happened I'm just tipping off because suddenly some strength what we had seems to have been pulled off so liability holders have every reason to have some discomfort hey why did this happen why did you just suddenly remove this comfort or why did you suddenly remove this uh, uh, you know support what we had so liability holders can actually have a problem now that is proceeds other than out of proceeds of fresh issue basically these are from the existing resources the second category is from existing resources now whenever buyback happens from existing resources what you have to carefully consider is you have to create, you have to create to the extent of nominal value of shares which you are buying back something called as capital redemption reserve. Friends, concentrate carefully. Lot of students make mistake in this particular point because they don't understand the logic. Should you create CRR, we will call it CRR, capital redemption reserve. Should you create CRR in the first case where you are buying back out of proceeds of fresh issue no you don't have to do that why what is the reason to do that there is no need to do that because there is some other support of equal strength which came and this support went that's fine so the liability holders don't have a problem but in the other in the second category you are using the existing resources you are using the existing reserves i'm repeating when i say you are using existing resources i'm saying you are using the existing reserves etc in order to do this buyback if you are doing using the existing reserves to do the buyback something like the amount what you accumulated under p and l or general reserve or even securities premium because securities premium is eligible for uh, buyback it can be used for buyback purpose so if you are using those for the buyback then what will happen maybe the liability holders thought they had a support in terms of shareholders funds and that shareholders funds is shrinking suddenly liability holders say oh no I think I am getting into a greater zone of risk in order to manage or reduce the risk for those liability holders companies act came up with a very intelligent negotiation please pay attention now why do we want to buy back other than out of proceeds of fresh issue go back to the story what we discussed if the company wants money at a cheaper cost of capital the company could say hey I will buy back equity shares probably they may have a higher cost of capital I will issue preference shares which have a lower cost of capital that is what the company may say but if the company is in a position where it says hey I have a lot of money I have a lot of strength I don't need this money because I don't have enough reinvestment opportunities I don't have opportunities to invest into my business that is why I don't need this money in such a case this money whatever the company has it wants to use and buy back the shares right so in such a scenario you don't want to raise fresh money think about it you don't want to raise fresh money you feel that you have enough money that you can give away or pay back something to the shareholders and basically cancel the shares so friends in such a case companies act talks about a mechanism called as capital redemption reserve I call it as CRR capital redemption reserve concept and what exactly happens in terms of capital redemption reserve please pay attention now here the shareholders ideally should get money last right after others are paid off they should get money but shareholders are getting money now they are getting money now even before the liabilities are cleared up so is there an extra advantage we are giving to the shareholders yes there is an extra advantage we are giving to shareholders when I say extra advantage to shareholders shareholders will be smiling then who will be crying the crying face will be that of the liability holders now what companies are tried doing is oh because of you buying back out of the existing reserves shareholders will be smiling and the liability holders will be crying so we will do something to ensure that shareholders will cry liability holders will smile that's all so basically you are playing with smileys here so 
what can we do to ensure that shareholders will feel uncomfortable and all the liability holders should smile how do we do that the companies act says acha even in the current scenario the company could have paid dividend probably because it has p and l general reserve etc the company probably could have paid dividend now what the company company is saying is hey we will transfer some amount or some uh, amount which is there in the p and l general reserve to a reserve called as capital redemption reserve listen carefully p and l general reserve we can use for dividend from those reserves we will transfer some money into capital redemption reserve what will happen when you do that today if money is in p and l this entire amount is available for a dividend probably but if i say oh amount in p and l came down are why did it come down this much we transferred into crr okay now if you transfer this into crr the moment you do that p and l balance general reserve balance will come down and that much to that extent you cannot use that money for paying dividend that much amount cannot be used for paying dividend meaning that much amount will not go out of business in the form of dividend i am repeating from 100 if i bring down the p and l to 40 there is a 60 reduction 60 would have gone into capital redemption reserve correct or not that 60 which has gone into capital redemption reserve is definitely not available for dividend declaration it is not available for dividend declaration to the extent of 60 even it is not available for dividend declaration that amount will remain in the business that amount cannot go out in the form of dividend to shareholders now it went into crr can we use crr for paying dividend the regulation says crr can be used only for one purpose that one purpose is issuing fully paid up bonus shares nothing else right crr can be used only for issue of fully paid up bonus shares it cannot be used for any other purpose so look at this point friends from crr maximum what can happen is crr may be reduced some day and it can go and sit in the share capital because you issued bonus shares so reserves came down and share capital went up that may happen some day in the future but it will never go out in the form of dividend just think about it if dividend is paid what will happen imagine this is the balance sheet you will have reserves p and l general reserve here and you have cash here say you will reduce p and l you will reduce cash meaning p and l is reduced cash is going out of business but that is not what is happening if you are talking about crr so here p and l general reserve are coming down but correspondingly what is increasing nothing is decreasing on asset side the crr is increasing on reserve side crr tomorrow cannot be used for paying dividend crr again will go and sit in the share capital so basically will the cash go out on account of that cash will not go out on account of that that is the logic of crr friends please understand crr story will come into picture crr story will come into picture only when the buyback happens otherwise than out of proceeds of fresh issue